Alright, this is Eternal Blade, let's continue. Um, so, continue matching this up, just kind of bring it down a bit. Okay, go into perspective here. 3 to 4, press J. Um, delete this little box we made. Then, um, there's actually, this is the edge of the house right here, so what we're going to have to do is go edge shift and drag and of course it's not going to work so go to select these polygons here and this extrude by four inches like the side of a house here like this like this and bridge go to the top view make sure everything looks good and it does and this is the general layout of the bathroom we're going to have a toilet here tub shower thing here, um, shower bar, curtain around here, um, doors on either side, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom, actually there are two sinks here, but we won't be doing those, and yes, let's continue, I figured out that the height of this is 96 inches, so create a box, increase the height, 96, Okay, uh, select this, go into vertex mode, front view, and just kind of line it up. Bring this um, box over if you need to. Okay, there you go. Lined up, perspective, and delete the box. Now we have that going for us. That's looking pretty good. I think we're eventually going to end up bringing these walls down to 2 inches, but we will leave them there for now. Now select our crown molding piece here. Rotate it, let's see, 90 degrees. Okay, go into the top viewport here. Bring it just to the corner. Sink it in a little both ways, select that, and just drag it out right until you reach the corner. Actually bring it about that far away, half. Okay, rotate it, let's see, 90 degrees this way while holding shift so you copy it. Bring it over here, and just sink it a little bit in. And bring it to the edge here. Okay. Bring it back halfway again. Okay. Rotate 90 while holding shift again. And actually copy it. Okay. Move it down. Select the vert here and repeat. Rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Push it in a bit. Bring it down. Put these verts right about here. Select this entire piece, move it up, rotate it 45 degrees, and bring it over here, and line it up as good as you can, okay, select the end polygon, move it on the local, and just bring it down. Okay, and actually do the same with the other side as well. Just even it up there. Um, let's see. View. Move. Actually, I have a better idea. Um, select this. Delete. Perspective Z. Ok, 
here, bring this out so that it touches all the way. Okay, hinge from edge, pick hinge there. 45, with 1, okay. Hinge from edge again. Pick hinge, okay. Extrude. Just extrude it along there until you touch. Okay. Hinge from edge, pick hinge. Apply, okay. And extrude it. Let's see. How many inches? Six inches. Um, that's really interesting. So, extrude it until you uh, reach right past that line there. Okay, this will give us that kind of nice curve look I was looking for. Okay, and then go back into the top view here. There's a little gap. What you can do is just select these verts here, move in slightly. Okay. Editable poly, select that, bring it over, rotate 180 degrees. Okay, move it into position, let's see, the same height as this. Just line it up and scoot it over. Okay, vertex sub object mode, and just meet halfway. Okay, um, hmm. So, we're gonna make this one a corner joint. I'll see about the others if any need fixing, because this is the way they actually do it during construction. Perspective. Alright, and now, if you press that, you can see we have some... Let's just, there we go. We have some nice molding in the centers here. Goes all the way back there. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And there was a spider crawling on my shoulder just now. That was kind of weird. But let's go back into the four view here. Perspective. Press W to get rid of that. Top front. And um, left click here. And view for background. Uncheck show background. All right. Next, let's hmm, let's start modeling the light switch. So, select all this and hide selected. Right click, press hide selected. Okay, and then Alt B, files, go find the two switches one. Okay. I'll label all these when I upload them to um, Photobucket. Okay, um, view for background. Okay. There we go, now it updated. Next, just draw a box around the edge of this. Okay, um, and then we're going to want to convert this box into an editable poly. Um, inset the top here, right to about there. Okay, um, that'll be it for this part. I'll see you in the next one.